When you have a meal, the food moves down from the mouth to the esophagus and into the stomach. The stomach is an important organ for breaking down food into smaller pieces we can absorb, and it does so by secreting acidic fluids and digestive molecules. The stomach is well protected against the acidic fluids. However, the esophagus is not. As such, a sphincter is present at the lower part of the esophagus called the lower esophageal sphincter. The esophageal sphincter acts as the gate, keeping acids away from the esophagus. This prevents the stomach contents from getting in contact with and damaging the esophageal lining. Simply put, heartburn, also known as gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD in short, is the poor closure of the lower esophageal sphincter, or a dysfunctional gate so to speak, which leads to the leakage of acidic contents back into the esophagus and damaging the tissue. It is described as heartburn due to the resulting chest discomfort somewhat near the heart. Common symptoms can be a sour aftertaste and chest pain shortly after having a meal. Some describe the feeling of a lump in the throat. The symptoms usually worsen with reclining or laying down due to more of the acidic fluids re-entering the lower esophagus, and symptoms commonly improve with sitting or standing position. You are more likely to develop heartburn if you are overweight or if you eat large meals, especially before bed. Consuming substances that are known to relax the lower esophageal sphincter can also lead to heartburn. This includes smoking, alcohol, coffee, or chocolate. Heartburn is more likely the older you are and is more common in females. Heartburn is usually diagnosed clinically, which means that typical signs and symptoms can be enough for your doctor to consider starting treatment. In some cases, doing an endoscopy, which is placing a camera in your esophagus to visualize the tissue, might be necessary. As for treatment, you may be prescribed medications to lower the acid production in your stomach, or you might be advised to make some lifestyle changes. This includes weight loss, having small but frequent meals, avoiding late night meals, and elevating the head of the bed when you go to sleep. In more severe cases of GERD, surgery can be considered to tighten the sphincter area. Here are some common questions regarding heartburn. Is it reversible? Yes, in most cases, mild heartburn can be avoided with a healthy lifestyle and medications. Are there any long-term complications? There are a few. The acidic fluids damaging the tissue in the esophagus can lead to inflammation, swelling, irritation, and eventually ulceration of the esophagus. With long-term exposure to acids, the esophageal lining can also thicken in a phenomenon described as Barrett's esophagus. Another complication is if the acidic reflux enters the lungs, which can lead to a sore throat, cough, and possible infection in the lungs from the resulting damage. Overall, Heartburn in itself is not life-threatening. However, if you experience it, it can be quite uncomfortable. We highly recommend you seek medical assistance for management.